A little bit of an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It has seasons. The day on Mars is 24 and a half. The day on the moon is 14 days of sunlight. It gets very hot. And then 14 days of darkness. It gets very cold. There is no atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I called it desolate, the most desolate place I'd ever seen mm -hmm. when I first got on the moon. Magnificent desolation. So Mars, Mars is, is livable. becoming promisingly within reach for larger and larger spacecraft, mm -hmm. spacecraft that could carry human beings, bringing people back from Mars is very difficult. The first people that land on the surface are the most difficult ones to bring back. Why are we putting humans on Mars? To build a progressively expanding settlement. And if we bring people back, here's the key question. What will we do with those people who have mm -hmm. spent a year and a half on Mars that cost uh, the world mm -hmm. billions of dollars to put them there. Okay? Yeah. They were useful while they were there, and we bring them back. Now, how useful are they to help defray the enormous cost that the world and the United States put into getting them there? Now, I know people say, oh, it's a suicide mission. It is not a suicide mission. We would put them there with every confidence that they will be followed by more and more people. When you look at all the pioneers in space today, you think of Jeff Bezos, you think of Richard Branson, um, Elon Musk. Yes. Who do you think is really leading the way forward? I think uh, SpaceX probably because of uh, uh, Elon coming from South Africa, uh, having... Uh, the competitive spirit to uh, to make a good bit of money in PayPal mm -hmm. and then uh, put that into his dreams. Elon would like to uh, get involved in selling uh, launches to the Air Force, mm -hmm. uh, but he's being opposed some. Uh, he almost went broke. He had three failures. And one more, in his words, would have uh, uh, taken him out of the business of rocket launches. Mm -hmm. He sort of succeeded on that one, pretty much. Uh, he uh, has a very good rocket and a very good price. I asked him if he wanted to uh, maybe lead efforts toward Mars by mm -hmm. allowing people to use his rocket on their project to a flyby of Mars mm -hmm. and then combining another company uh, I said, uh, I, I'm in touch with very wealthy people, or maybe in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps we could uh, have some investment money. Mm -hmm. He said, no, we don't need any money. We'll do it ourselves. His spacecraft, the Dragon, uh, is capable yeah. uh, in the feasibility study of uh, landing on Mars in a different way than we've thought okay. we needed with big heat shields, big parachutes. Uh, he, he has a method of doing that.